So a warm welcome to you all, we will be on the way very shortly, once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Olympiakos against Leverkusen. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Well, thank you very much Mr Drury and hello to everyone. Two starting lineups. Down to business here. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Omar El Abdullawi. It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. Omar El Abdullawi. Looking up to see who wants it. Can he find a finish now? Away from immediate danger. Omar El Abdullawi. Plenty waiting in the middle. Hoisted towards the area. That was asking just too much of him. And that's not the cross he had in mind. Chalhanolu. That's Brown a day. The defence can get it clear. Brown a day showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. And it's Brown a day. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Keeper's ball. And it's Masuaku. Looks like a good ball through. Brown it in with the ball through. Oh, flags up. He must have been offside. Pass he's looking for. Throw it. Looks to slip it through. Tries a through ball. Well weighted. And the first half is done. See your views on the first half. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil nil. And we're off again. Luck for 
first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone could step up and produce something a little more magical. And he has been fouled there. Still, the other side really getting onto the front foot. Asuaku passes it through. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Out wide to the right. And the counter is on. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Now the pass. He's picked him out. That is some volley, great technique. Look, you can end up looking a bit silly if you don't make the right connection on the volley, but he met that cross perfectly. Leverkusen with a sub ready to come on. Olympiakos, break the deadlock. Yeah, now that the deadlock has been broken, I think the manager has to look at his bench to, to try and initiate some sort of a reply. But has he got a game changer? He has to try something from here. Out to the left it goes. Masuaku. It into the area. Oh, not the best of headers. Omar Al Abdullawi pushes it through. So they've got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Tries a through ball. That'll be a throw. Leverkusen as though they're about to make a change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes... Superb from Brown a day! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had.
Olympiakos got themselves a two goal cushion. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Masuaku, no, that's not going to make it. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. And that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Brown it eh? They are running riot! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, we've just seen intelligent football from intelligent footballers. That's honed on the training ground and lovely when it comes off on match day. Reply. The final whistle. Olympiakos have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? At times it was like Groundhog Day because of their continuous success in using wit as the best route to goal. It worked a treat and it, it looked a treat. Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines because they were able to build attack after attack with little resistance. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and good afternoon all.